my sucker for you. Woo! You say the word and I go in it blindly. Is that you, Nick? I'm a so you want to know how to sing like the Jonas Brothers. Well, I am here to tell you, you have come to the right place. In this episode of Track Out Tuesday, I'm showing you guys how to sing like the Jonas Brothers and how to get the same vocal effects that they have on Sucker, their new single. Coming right up, let's go. Ah. So what is up everybody, I am Legend and welcome to the next episode of Track Out Tuesday. Finally, it's back. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to sing like the Jonas Brothers and how to get the same vocal effect, that cool little echoey type thing that they have on the new song and single, Sucker. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in GarageBand because that is what I use to record all my vocals. Without any further ado, let's get down to this. And so I basically came over here and I imported the track from my downloads, just drag and drop it. So you hear our sounds. Boom. This song, the vocals on this song are uh, very simple, very uh, stripped down. I would say the whole song is kind of stripped down until it gets to the chorus, but the vocals, um, it's stripped down with the one exception that it has this cool little echoey, very close echo sound to it. And I'm going to show you how to achieve that. So basically, I want to go ahead and record my um, audio, which I already done, but I'm going to show you guys, you know, me singing. I recorded the, the, the lead vocal here. I imported my compressed vocals from my default setup that I already talked about in my how to record vocals and harmonies. You guys can see how to do that. But just to kind of get a brief overview. So the settings that I have on this track is so I select the compressed vocal as I imported it. And um, you'll see down here the controls, compression turned up, a uh, little bit more than halfway my lows are up my mids are in the middle my highs are a little bit up mid frequencies low cut is turned down uh, the squeeze is up just about a th third or a fourth of the way and then the most important part are the sins right here so the sins you have the reverb turned all the way down because we're going to hit the reverb in the pedals section um, and then the ambience I turned up because that is going to help with the reverb that I do add for the echo effect. So make sure that you have this set up right here down here. From there, and record our first track. We go together, better than birds of a feather, you and me. One, two. We go together, better than birds of a feather, you and me. Now this part is a little bit hard because uh, the phrasing it doesn't allow me to breathe and then sing the next part so i kind of have to split it up into sections but that's totally okay to do when you're recording as long as you make it sound like it was done in one breath so the first part sounds like this we go together this is raw no effects better than birds of a feather you and me also uh what i want to know is if you are recording when you are recording something that even i do as a singer um, I don't need auto-tune, but I always use just a little bit of it because your notes will not always be perfect. That is what a lot of people using pitch correction in the music industry use it for. When it's not stylized, they use it to uh, correct the slightest, tiniest incorrect notes or the slightest like flat tones or you know however you want to look at it. But auto-tune is not the devil. Feel free to turn it on and turn it up a little bit to help out your vocals when you do miss that one note. It's able to fix you so that you don't have to keep recording over and over and over and over and over and over because there might be that one note that you just always flat on and you can't hit it. But this is it's I'm telling you, I'm telling you, this is what these people do. So I have mine set to limit the key and turned up to about 80 percent. The key is in C sharp minor, and so it's tuning to that key. We change, we change the weather, we change the weather. Yeah, I'm feeling hate and December when you found me. I'm feeling hate and December. See, see what I mean? We go together. Better than birds of a feather, you and me. We change the weather, yeah. I'm feeling hit in December when you're around me. Okay, and then the next part when Joe comes in, so that's that's your whole uh, Nick Jonas head voice falsetto type thing going on. I can't sing that obviously in my chest, but I can I can pull it off in my my head or my falsetto. Um, you you gotta get up there, man. You gotta get up there. Otherwise, you need to change the key of the song. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. I follow you through the dark and get in up when you're around me. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. I follow you through the dark and get in up. Oh, that's a long breath. 
I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. I follow you through the dark, can't get enough. <clears throat> You're the medicine and the pain, the tattoo inside my brain, and baby, you know. <clears throat> You're the medicine and the pain, the tattoo inside my brain, and baby, you know it's obvious. You're the medicine and the pain, the tattoo inside my brain, and baby, you know it's obvious. It was a little flat, but we gonna work with it for now. Like I normally teach in my vocal videos, whenever I record harmonies, I usually always stack the harmonies four and four and four and however many harmonies there are, there's always four and I pan the vocals. In this case, you're not going to do that because um, that's just how they did it in the original song. It, you, if you put stacked vocals on here, it would be way too much. It's a two-part harmony. I mean, I'm not saying you can't stack two-part harmonies. I've done it before. I love to do, I always stack my harmonies. But in this case, Joe and Nick, they don't stack these vocals. It's just one each to give it a more stripped down feel. When you stack these vocals with how limited the instrumental sounds and how broken down and bare it is, it's gonna sound like way, 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 way too much because right at this point, you just have the drums and the guitar. Dun, 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 dun. If you put this whole grand like eight part stack harmonies and all that stuff in here it's it's overkill so just the one in the one works just fine for this and i'll show you oh you through the dark can't get enough you're the medicine and the pain the tattoo inside my brain and baby you know it's obvious so now we come into the chorus here the chorus that i recorded i'm a sucker for you and baby you know it's obvious i'm a sucker for you say the word and i go wait what's the word <laughs> I'm a sucker for you. Just say the word and I'll go anywhere, Bali. I'm a sucker for you. Any road you take, you know that you'll find me. Ah, it was flat. Any road you take, you know that you'll find me. All the subliminal things. I'm a sucker for. I'm, I'm a sucker for. All the subliminal things. No one knows about you, about you. And you make in the typical me, break the typical rules. It's true. I'm a sucker for you. Okay, this is when I'm going to stack the vocals. So, um, in the original song, if you guys listen to this part really quick. I'm a Right there, that's when extra vocals cut. You can tell that there's more than one vocal on there. So basically I have my four stacked pan vocals down here that I've already recorded. And you guys can hear how that sounds once I record all these on top of what's already there. Cause that's when the chorus really like uh, evolves into the chorus and, and, and has that, that pop that you're looking for in a chorus. I'm a sucker for you. Now notice at the end of that how I cut out. I didn't sing the I'm a sucker for you in the stacks. I cut out it's at, I cut out at it's true and then I let the lead vocal by itself do I'm a sucker for you. That's good for when you're recording song. I mean in this case this is how they did it so that's how they did it. But when you're recording your own songs, it's good for concluding a chorus that's very big. Um, and going back into the verse, a very stripped down part of the song. So since this song goes to a stripped down sounding verse, a good way to end the chorus is to strip it all the way down back to that, that basic. So that's what I did in this case. It is true, I'm a sucker for you. One vocal. All right, so now comes the fun part. Basically, so the, everything sounds pretty raw. I mean, it still sounds good, but it doesn't have that same magic that the Jonas Brothers song has. Um, so what you want to do, and what I did, I just kind of figured this out on my own because I wanted to see if I could do it. Um, so I add all my effects. So um, I click down here on this little pedal board. I come over here and I added the, I didn't put the spring, I don't want any reverb on here, but I did add the retro chorus and the this delay uh, pedal right here. So you can click on show all and find it like that, or you could just click on delay. Um, you drag this delay thing right there, which is what I did. And as far as 
modulation we got the retro chorus you find that and you drag that over here so this is going to add to the reverby echoey effect that doesn't sound so much like a reverb or an echo it's like just a very slight like you're in a, a small hallway and your voice is bouncing off like very close to you just listen it's just a very slight echo so what i did in this case is i turned my uh, retro chorus on that i dragged over here I have the rate at about, uh, I'd say, three-fourths of the way turned up, and the depth almost matching that, just a little bit lower. So when it's off... We go together, better than birds of a feather, you and me. And now when it's on... We change the weather, yeah, I'm feeling hit in December when you're around me. So it, it kind of gives it a, a, a little bit of depth, a little bit of a... I, I don't want to say echo, but it's like... Um, I really don't know how to explain the chorus effect, honestly, uh, but hopefully you hear the difference. So next we come to uh, our delay. So this pedal that I dragged from the delay section, and this is what's really going to sell that Jonas Brothers sucker sound for us. This is what really gets what we're looking for. Um, so once you turn this on, I have this set to where the time is at 72 milliseconds. I believe that's what that means. My low cut is turned down to 24 hertz. High is turned down to 1000 hertz. Dirt is turned up to 51. Flutter at 58. My mix is at 24% because I don't want um, all these effects to be too in the forefront. I want it to kind of be like something that sits in the background, but still you can hear the effect working. Um, the feedback's turned all the way down because I don't want any kind of distortion or any type of feedback in any way. I just want the echo sound, the time. The time, is, this right here, this knob right here is what's going to sell this. But you want to make sure that you EQ, for the lack of a better term, this effect by turning down all this other stuff so that it doesn't distort the actual vocals too much. So without it, it sounds like this. We go together Better than birds of a feather, you and me and with, it sounds like this. We go together. You hear that extra echo? Better than birds of a feather, you and me. We change the weather. Off. Yeah, I'm feeling hit in December when you're around me. That was on. We go together. Better than birds of a feather, you and me. We change the weather. Yeah, I'm feeling hit in December. See, it's very dramatic, so I want to get that back down to 70, and it gets that that very close, like just behind the vocals. It's like the echo is just catching up to the actual vocals. So that's what that's what you want to achieve. I've been dancing on top of cars and stumbling out of bars. I follow you through the dark, can't get enough. Yeah, the medicine and the pain, the tattoo inside my brain, and baby, you know it's obvious. Sounds really dope in my opinion i am a g i'm a master i can do anything kudos to me now let's hear this chorus i'm a sucker for you Woo. you see the word and i go anywhere blindly is that you nick i'm a sucker for you that sounds just like this yeah. jones anywhere you take you know that you'll find me here we go i'm a sucker for I'm a sucker for you. Bro, <laughs> did I just make the Jonas Brothers song in like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah, so if you guys want to know how to, to get that Jonas Brothers echoey phone, slightly reverb sound, whatever you want to call it, this is how you do it in Garage, man. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, stay legendary. And, and, do my Peter McKinnon. I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> we go together Better than birds of a feather You and me We change the weather Yeah, I'm feeling hit in December When you're around me I've been dancing on top of cars And stumbling